Southeast Asia top diplomats will gather in Indonesia on Tuesday for the ASEAN summit scheduled for the 5th to the 7th of September. But the summit comes at the heels of mounting doubts about the bloc's unity and credibility in dealing with regional challenges in the global world order today's time. Well, the 43rd ASEAN summit will not only be attended by the members but also various partner countries. Mari bekerja keras menjadikan ASEAN Matters epicentrum of growth. Diplomatic friction between India and China might have a spillover effect next week, with reports suggesting that Xi Jinping might snub the G20 summit being held in New Delhi. Reports say that Premier Li Chiang will travel to India as China's representative. Mr. Li is reportedly expected to also attend a summit of East and Southeast Asian leaders in Jakarta next week. Strengthening. Moreover, close on the heels of the BRICS and the G20 summit, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi will attend the 20th ASEAN India summit for a day. Meanwhile, the Chinese President Xi Jinping has confirmed that his Premier Li Xiang will attend the conference on his behalf. Tunnels being bored in the hillside, there are bunkers being constructed and shelter. This, of course, worries uh, India and it's lodged a strong protest through gip, uh, diplomatic uh, channels uh, to China. And this map has also been released just days after the BRICS summit China's in Johannesburg. Neighbors. Earlier this week, China released some maps. We told you about it on the show. China's map war. This new map showed Indian territories as part of China. More stakeholders have jumped in. China's neighbours are condemning this map in one voice. The Philippines, Malaysia, Taiwan and Vietnam, they've all lodged a strong protest. What are they angry about? China claims a large part of the South China Sea and that's what these countries are upset about. Malaysia tidak mengiktiraf tuntutan China di Laut China Selatan seperti digariskan dalam peta standard China edisi 2023 yang meliputi kawasan maritim Malaysia. Wisma Putra dalam kenyataan berkata peta yang menunjukkan tuntutan maritim pihak China sama sekali tidak mengikat Malaysia. Malaysia tidak mengiktiraf tuntutan China di Laut China Selatan seperti digariskan dalam peta standard China edisi 2023 yang meliputi kawasan maritim Malaysia.